bring in now a uh, retired lieutenant colonel of the U.S. Army, Tony Schaefer. Tony is also the president of Project Sentinel. And alongside him today, counterterrorism foreign policy expert Lisa Daftari. She is the host and editor in chief of the Foreign Desk podcast. Welcome into you both. So, hey, Bianca. struggling to find our identity. I mean, cry me a river. I, I want to know, Tony, what one of these kids would do if you put them over there. You know, we've just seen, you know, attacks on the U.S. troops. Put them over in Syria and uh, Iraq. What do you think would happen? So let's be clear here, and I appreciate your candid response to the rock. The rock's not the answer, Bianca. Uh, this is this is essentially bait and switch. Uh, you you join for the rock for the rock, and you get uh, the military. It's it's you need to be upfront. The idea of serving in the military will benefit the individual, but it'll support our collective freedoms. And this is where the Pentagon continue to get it wrong. And look, I know General Ryder. I know Pat. I know he's, he's doing his best for, for the, so the, the Secretary of Defense, but they continue to get the messaging wrong. It needs to be focused on how do we encourage patriotism, patriotism. encourage sacrifice. Uh, the idea of going to an anime convention and pulling people out and, and fitting them into the military is not the answer. There are people out there who want to join, but they're not at the anime conventions. They're in high schools. They're in colleges. They're available. You just have to go find them. The idea of do it, taking it the easy way, going the Hollywood route, it's not going to work out well. And you see the deficits now, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. Well, I don't think, it, you know, it's sad to hear it could get worse, uh, especially when we, we need good people uh, who want to join. And, and with the conflicts we're having right now, yeah. you know, and I look at what the enemies are looking. You know, we saw those recruitment videos, how embarrassing they were a few years ago. They were so woke. Right. And, you know, Lisa, what do you take of this? this uh, Alejandro Mayorkas now has issued instructions to agents. So now along our borders, we have potential, you know, uh, terrorists coming in saying, make sure you don't have incorrect pronouns when you are on the border and you are approaching a migrant. That was in actually a dossier uh, that the CBP has. What do you think that is uh, all about? And the fact that it's now been leaked and how damaging that is about how ridiculous we look as a country, as a nation, as the leader of the free world. The free world, right? It's a joke, right? To people who don't probably don't speak English, they have to worry about pronouns. It just shows us where our priorities are. And when you draw the line, it's no wonder that teenagers and this new generation is admiring Osama bin Laden um, on on social media instead of wanting to serve their country instead of having this feel, these feelings of patriotism. It starts at the root. And I think we have to rewind way beyond uh, high school and go to kindergarten. You know, I'm the daughter of Iranian immigrants and I speak four languages. I was never forced to assimilate. But at the same time, I was raised with such a love for this country. I understood that I'm here for all these opportunities that I have is because of America and, and to love my country. And when you have these young people, of course, they don't want to serve their country. They don't love their country. They don't believe in fighting or defending their country. And that's a major problem. You have to look at the teachers. a great point. Yeah, they're taught. They're indoctrinated not to love their country. Marxist. Um, right. I don't have a ton of time, but it's such an important story because it is developing and could break uh, very soon. Tony, this possible yep. deal between Hamas and Israel for the hostages, obviously we want to see hostages released, but it looks like it would be one hostage and then like three Palestinians. And it gives them obviously more aid and more time to possibly go into these tunnels and, and make it even more treacherous for the IDF. What's your read on what's happening right now today in Israel and with uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's war cabinet? So we've been talking about this, Bianca, kind of now putting all the pieces together. They're going to have this rolling six-hour humanitarian pause over four, a four-day period. I just don't think it's a good deal for the uh, for the IDF yet. Uh, I still am very skeptical. We'll see how it starts. But the idea is they should get 50 out and then give a few back. That is to say that 50 hostages come out as goodwill. I'm, I'm skeptical. We'll see what happens. Lisa, I have 30 seconds. When we were at the State Department briefing, taking it live just a few minutes ago, it's amazing the questions are really focused on um, civilians, which, of course, is a component of this. But there were actually questions about the tunnels underneath uh, the Al-Shifa Hotel, and IDF just put out more pictures showing a, a door there. It seems like the media is really fixated on trying to find this narrative that just doesn't exist.
exactly right. Look, we everything has been reversed about the hospital. The hostages, the Israeli hostages, were taken to that hospital. The hospital was a Hamas headquarters. But you don't see any shift in the narrative, whether it's from the mainstream media right. or social media. And that is the problem. It just goes to the root of the issue is that they want to drive this narrative. And of course, they have accomplices here in the West that will allow them to drive this anti-Israel, anti-Semitic uh, narrative all the way. So they have uh, a military war and an information war. That is what the IDF is oh, dealing yeah. with. We were just showing the recent pictures just broke minutes ago about the actual um, doors there, the fortified doors that the IDF says are under the Al-Shiva hospital that showed the tunnels. Um, we're watching this hostage deal. Uh, hopefully there's some, some good news for the families. They are Israeli hostages, though, not American hostages. So much to continue to discuss and watch closely. I appreciate you both, Lisa and Tony. Always a pleasure to have you in.